Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a new little challenge that I am gonna just do on my channel and I'm calling it the then versus now challenge. Basically, it's just gonna be a series of questions and I'm gonna share my outlook on things that I had then versus now. It's pretty simple, but I think it's very interesting because so much about everyone really changes through time and it's cool to see the difference of how I saw certain things back then when I thought I knew it all. You know, it could be in high school, it could be as a child, whatever versus now that I'm a grown ass woman. Let's do this. Kishi? Yes. Markeisha, Kishi, Marky, Kish, Cassandra. Present. <laughs> Marky, my brother, he's gonna be asking me the questions behind the camera. So let's do this. Question number one. Mm -hmm. Your self image then versus your self image now. Self image then, I'm gonna take this back to junior high. I was insecure about being too skinny. As a Latina, I'd get picked on for not having enough curves. Family would all tell me I look hungry. I, I just didn't have curves. Like my cousin, she had a booty and like all this stuff. And so I actually like wore leggings under my jeans in junior high because I felt like I would get made fun of for being too skinny. My self image now, I'm a lot more confident. I think at a certain point in your life, you really come into your own, accept yourself. And it's nice that I have a fast metabolism now. You know, now I'm like, this is a great thing for me. And it's a positive thing now. Yeah, I think I'm very confident in who I am now. I'm, I've accepted it. My texture, my hair. I like to wear less makeup these days. I just like, I'm comfortable myself. Your social life then versus your social life now. Dang. Well, I saw the sun more back then. You were a hoe back then. <laughs> but I support all my hoes. Maybe I was a hoe. I was... Flirty and thriving. Back then I was wild, super carefree. I was such a tomboy, like junior high, high school. I was like skateboarding, surfing, partying, living my life. Like I wasn't scared of anything. You could dare me to do anything and I'd do it. Now I'm like, no, I'm really busy tonight. I can't make it. AKA I'm in bed watching Netflix and I don't got time for this anymore, okay? Like I can't handle hangovers anymore. I'm actually vitamin D deficient these days. Like my ass don't see the sun. I'm in the house under these studio lights. <laughs> yeah. Who did you idolize then versus who do you idolize now? You know what's weird? I don't feel like I idolized anybody really. When I think back to my past, I'm like, is there somebody that I was like, oh my God, I idolize this person so much? I don't know. Obviously there's certain people I look up to, like, you know, your parents is always like an obvious thing. Now I idolize people who are super hardworking. I idolize the weirdest people. Like I idolize Will Smith. I idolize uh, The Rock. <laughs> I know it's very strange. I like them both because you can tell that they're super hardworking and they are passionate, passionate and good people. I've never met Will Smith or The Rock. If you wanna like collab, I'm here. Just have time, let me know. But I like them both because you can tell that they're super hardworking and they are always continuing to do something different and like it inspires me to keep going. Your personality then versus your personality now. Honestly, my personality then versus now, I feel like my personality has been the same since I came out the womb. I literally feel that my personality has always been and is what it is now. This is Dendre, this is Shan, and I'm Shannon. Yes. I really can't tell you that there's a difference, like, Nah, I've just always been kind of a goofball. I'm the same person. <laughs> personality, not the same person, same personality. Priorities then versus priorities now. Two things that my whole life since I can remember, I've always prioritized hustling in whatever it is I wanna do work-wise and my family. And I feel like now it's the same thing and along the way it's just changed. Like my goals have changed, but still those two things always really, really matter to me. And I'm just gonna keep continuing to do that. That's actually the follow-up question. Goals then versus goals now. Oh. You know, that's a hard question. Goals then versus goals now. My goals kind of fluctuated back then. I had major goals. You know, I wanted to be something amazing and I just felt that I was meant to do something and I didn't know what it was gonna be, but I felt really confident in that. At the time, I wanted to be a singer or, you know, a fashion designer. And then I hit a point in my goals where I was like, fuck, maybe I'm not meant to do anything 
big. Maybe I'll just figure something else out. And that's when my goal switched to like, I just want to do makeup freelance and I just, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do, you know, photo shoots. My goals now are family. I want to have a family and start my business. Two pretty massive goals but I'm very sure of myself now. I know where I wanna go, I know my direction. Whereas, you know, before when you're a little younger, you don't really know, you're unsure, it's a little bit foggy. And I think when you become a little bit older, not old, just a little older, you realize that you become more sure of yourself. A makeup game then versus makeup game now. I look back at photos of myself and I'm like, really a smoky eye and you didn't think to put like, a little brow on, no brow, okay? I, I look back at my pictures and I just had smoky eye, where did my brow go? And back then I had to have a wing or I felt like my whole world would crumble. Like I needed a wing. I was like, I can't do anything with the wing. I can't live my life without a wing. I also went through like that really dark lip liner, chola phase, I did do that, you know, I took the star shot photos. I didn't smile in them because it wasn't cool to not smile. You had to just be like, and if you don't know what star shots are because you're too young, then Google it. <laughs> my makeup game now, I could live the rest of my life without a winged eyeliner. I still love winged eyeliner. Like I said, the good thing about getting older, for me, I've become so comfortable in my own skin. I feel the most beautiful when I have less makeup. There's definitely times when, when I have makeup on, I'm like, oh my God, I love this, I love this. But like for my everyday life now, it's more minimal. Whereas my everyday life back then was still winged eyeliner every day and apparently no brows. I love the more natural, glowy, you know, I love neutral tones, you know, Know that you guys all know that you know I'm not a colorful bitch okay a fashion sense then versus fashion sense now you guys I have gone through some fashion crises I was wearing like you know like low low rise pants like basically your ass crack was hanging out at any like moment does anyone remember rocket dogs those big sandals that were like this thick you could float you could walk on water in rocket dogs think like britney spears but like not as cool as her i mean that's who i was like trying to go for i thought it was so cute so fashionable like i mean maybe for the time i was popping but now that I look back, I'm like, oh my gosh. My style now I'd say is a little bit more sophisticated for sure than it was back then. Back then I felt like if my titties weren't out, I was not cute enough. Now I feel like I don't need that. Sometimes it's nice, but it's just like, not saying it's bad or good. I love me some titty, you know, but I, I just, I feel like now I love like jeans with different types of tops but then I like to dress them up, you know, with accessories. I love accessories now. Back then I wasn't as an accessory person as I am now. I just like simple things, but amped up with accessories. Did I say the word accessories already? I'm not sure if I, but yeah, I just more chic, more refined, fashion. Things you were obsessed with then versus things you're obsessed with now. Back then I was obsessed with boys. Damn, was I really just obsessed with boys? Like, pfft. I was obsessed with sports. I was obsessed with boys. I was obsessed with shopping at Forever 21 like every day. Uh, I'd go to Forever 21 all the time. Man, my mom, she, she would take me to Forever 21 and I would just like sneak things into the cart without, you know, just hope she wouldn't notice. She tells me that now. She's like, you think I didn't notice? Things I'm obsessed with now, Netflix. God, I'm such an old bitch. I'm obsessed with food. I'm obsessed with my dogs. <laughs> makeup, fashion, home decor. I'm obsessed with home goods, gardening. Like the difference between the two. Yeah, that sounds about right. How you handled hardships in life then versus now? So I guess you could say somewhat handled them similarly. Back then, I would break down into tears, have a panic attack, and then call my dad crying anytime anything went wrong. That was the way I handled all my problems. And I would cry on the phone with my dad until he calmed me down. This happened all the time. Even if I were to get anxiety attack because I was lost, you know, cause back then, I know you all are spoiled now, but there was this thing called MapQuest and if you were too poor for a printer, you had to write that shit down when you needed directions to go somewhere. You didn't have a phone that had like GPS. So I would get lost all the time. And when I would get lost, I would have a, an anxiety attack. I don't know why, I would just panic. And I'd call my dad like, I don't know where I am. I'm supposed to be here, I'm late and blah, blah, blah. And that's how I handle things because he's the one person that just like brings me to this state of calm the fuck down. You. 
He centers me. He like reminds me, what's the solution? Is there anything you could do about it? If not, oh well, what are you gonna do? And I think that he has talked me through so many problems that now I have turned into the person that thinks that way now. I definitely still call my dad from time to time, especially business advice, like I always call him. Now, my more day to day, if I have like a problem, I know now that I just have to look at the problem and remember what he told me, which is every problem that you come across is an opportunity for you to be able to find the solution. It's a challenge. What's the solution? You know, how can you fix this? You can only do your best, you know, and, and, and if something doesn't work out, then it's just not meant to be for some weird reason. Now I just call him like, hey, what's up? That was, that's the big difference. Define yourself in three words then versus now. Then, troublemaker, carefree, Oh my gosh, you guys, I have to tell you this. So I went through all my old photos that I found, photo albums, and the time before everyone like putting themselves on Instagram, like trying to be good, I've always taken photos and video, like documented everything I did, but the way my photos have changed, it like almost made me sad because now we all wanna look really good in our photos. It's all about how we look. And, and back then it wasn't about that at all. Like I purposely tried to look ugly in my photos, like, but it was all for memories. And my perception of photos has definitely changed but back then I'm like damn I look carefree like I was doing wild things I didn't really care how I looked the consequences I was just like living my best life but um yeah carefree troublemaker goofball now goofball still passionate passionate this is hard you know when people ask you these kind of questions in an interview I get really uncomfortable because I don't know how to like describe myself Boss bitch. <laughs> Relationship with Steven then versus now. Well, our dynamic then was much different than our dynamic now. Back then, him and I, all we cared about was partying, going out. We would go out in Hermosa Beach all the time, bar hopping. He was more the one with a nine to five job and he had that going. And so I was more of like the, you know, honey, what can I get you for dinner? I'm not gonna go as far as say it that I'm like, I was like domesticated or anything like that because it's just not really like in my blood. It was a little bit different, whereas like now, we don't party as much. We do go to events, but it doesn't really like, it's not like partying like back then, you know? Like we enjoy spending time together, just chilling and like watching movies. And because we work together all the time, him and I are together, like meetings we go together, everything we, we do is together, so if he ever wants to have his boys nights, I'm like, bye. Back then, I was like, wait, why? Now I'm like, I love him, but you know, I don't like him. <laughs> uh, I love you, honey, I do, I love you, you know that. So, I mean, I get on his nerves too. He's like, listen, it's okay to need space in any relationship. Space is what makes you miss somebody. Remember that you're always with somebody then you don't have the opportunity to miss them So when he needs to do his own things, I'm like see you later talk to you soon But back then I was like jealous too I was really jealous back then in our relationship back then he's just my boyfriend, you know So I wasn't as secure in the relationship anything can change we could break up. I'm so secure now in our relationship This is my husband. He's my family like we are together. I know he's not gonna go out and eat, you know He better not like, listen, <laughs> y'all don't want to see me like that, okay? Those are all the questions. I really hope you guys enjoyed this then versus now. But depending on where you are in life right now, if you're in high school or just left high school, college type of situation, I swear it's crazy how one thing going wrong can feel like your whole life is over. It's insane. And then, you know, once you get older, you realize like, wow, it's not. Things just keep going. Your life keeps moving and you're, Perspectives keep changing, you keep changing. It's honestly really, really cool to look back and do this kind of thing and really think about how your perspectives have changed. I thought it was interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me any then versus now questions down below. If you guys like this, maybe I could do um, another one with different questions. If there's something you're interested in, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Wait, rewind versus my. Sp I thought I put you on silent. <laughs> now. <laughs> Bizarro. <laughs> <It's> weird. <laughs>